Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pom-pom and I really do mean perfect pom-pom. I'm really pleased with how these came out. They're absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of tutorials out there showing you how to make pom-poms. So this is just one particular method but it's my favourite method and I've really worked hard to make it kind of that perfect result basically. Um, one thing that really annoys me about when you make a pom-pom is that often you make it and then you can pull on these bits and they just come out. So it, they're not very secure. They might look good, but they're really not very secure or practical. So this method, I've worked out a way to make these secure. So if I pull on this, it's not budging. It's not moving, which is brilliant. So follow this method and you won't have falling apart pom-poms ever again. So first of all, there are three variables in making your pom-pom. One is uh, the size of your template. So I'm gonna use a cardboard template for this, which I'll show you in a moment. So the size of your template equals the size of your pom-pom. The next variable is how many times you wrap your yarn around your template is equals how kind of dense, how thick your pom-pom is. So I've made two here, and as you can see, this one has less yarn in it, so it's a bit looser. This one has a lot more wraps, more yarn in it, so it's a lot dense, a lot tighter and thicker. So it just depends on the look that you want to get. The uh, third variable is your type of yarn or wool. So, obviously the thicker the yarn, the kind of denser, thicker your pom-pom, or the thinner the yarn, you might get you know a lot looser, more shaggy kind of look. So let me show you some examples. So this pom-pom, which I just showed you just now, is quite a thin, thin-ish yarn. And it is this one here, which is quite a basic, kind of cheap, if you like, yarn. And it's... Um, plied yarn so which means if you untwist one strand if I can get to show you it is split into three bits where's the third one there we go so you have three strands twisted together, plied, to make your one yarn. And it's quite a typical yarn that you'll find in a shop. And I love this one because it's slightly variegated. So it's got slightly different tones in it, which has come out beautifully on this pom-pom. So that's one style of pom-pom. Uh, and again, this kind of purple one, again, is um, done using a very simple plied yarn. I think this one is the same. It's done like that. Um, but a different sort of pom-pom that I've made are these ones. You see how really dense and fluffy that is. Same as like this blue one here. And they're gorgeous to feel. It's been, I, mean, I love making these. They're so amazing. You just want to stroke them and touch them. So this one is a really dense fluffy one. And it is made using just a single strand, single spun yarn. So you can tell it's just got a very slight twist to it. And there's no, it's literally one strand. And this is quite a thinnish one. Uh, and this made this pom-pom here. Up to this yarn here, which is, again, it's nice variegated, different tones. It's a lot thicker, but it is literally, it's almost felted, literally one strand thick, fluffy, soft yarn. And it makes these really fun, soft, funky pom-poms. So let me show you how to make them. Move all my pom-poms out the way. You notice all of my pom-poms have tails. And this is going to be important to be you for later on for whatever you want to attach your pom-pom to. So 
so you may make sure you've got a tail right so first off we need some cardboard and some scissors so I've cut this off a flap from a cardboard box and um, yeah I wish I'll give you some sizes to make these but it it's really you know up to your judgment really so the width that we're going to cut would be your size of your pom-pom so I'm going to just do it roughly so I'll give you some sizes just as a guideline to start you off so I'm literally just going to cut a bit off like that now we're going to wrap our yarn around this width so again the length doesn't really matter because we're only using like this bit so I'm going to leave it at that length. Now I need two slots either side. So I'm literally just going to cut a little slot and cut another little slot. So it doesn't matter how long they are. I'd say about an, an inch. But again, it doesn't have to be accurate. It doesn't have to be straight. It really doesn't matter. So that is our template. Okay, next you need some cotton. Now this is a really beautiful, quite thick, but really strong piece of cotton. Um, you don't have to use this and you can use embroidery thread um, or just use a strand of yarn, but I found this is really gonna help make that middle of your pom-pom tight and secure. So this is what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna cut a length. Again, doesn't really matter how long it is. I'd say about sort of double Double the length of your template, roughly. Right, and we're going to lay this on our template and we're going to thread it through our slots like that. Okay, and this is what we're going to use to tie our middle of our pom-pom, as you will see. Okay, the other important bit for this uh, technique is my trusty glue gun. Right, I'm going to use this beautiful purple yarn to show you how we do it. Right, so we take our template, we lay our yarn across, hold it in place. I leave like a little bit of an overhang, but not too much. And we're going to start wrapping. Now this end bit can get in the way. So I found if I just wrap it round a bit and tuck it in again it just keeps it out the way a little bit right then we literally start wrapping now on the first wrap or each layer really i aim for about 20 wraps so it's about six we go and we keep it quite tight in the middle don't spread it out too much all right here comes the magic bit we're now going to take our sides like this and we're going to tie a knot in the middle so just a basic knot tie it once it really tight and I'm gonna sort of hold it tightly in the middle and tie another knot the trick is to try and get it as tight as you can in the middle there like that there we go and then tuck our ends in our template again tie this off so it's out the way and then a little bit of magic I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue over the top of that knot and sort of push it into the yarn a bit okay and all this helps to keep this center as tight as possible so it doesn't come apart and then we're going to wrap again so we're going to do another 20 
there we go and then repeat the same step again and do our sides and tie in a knot hold on to it tightly and pull Back in, add a bit of glue, and we're ready to do the process all over again. Now I aim for about four, say four lots of tie knots in the middle, so kind of four rounds of 20, maybe five if it's quite a thin yarn, but that's sort of your judgment. And again, depends if you want a tight, dense ball or a loose one. So it's kind of an experiment, really. You have to just try, have a go and see how they come out. So just keep going. Okay, right now I'm going to call this my last kind of wrap. So there we go, finish. So now I'm going to cut the end off. Finished with that. Now next we're going to um, gently pull your yarn off the template. So I didn't tell you how tight you shouldn't wrap around the cardboard too tightly. Tight enough that it stays on and it's not loose, but not too tight that it starts to bend your cardboard. So we're gonna, this is a test as to whether it's too tight or not. There you go, gently push it off your template, like that. Now, next, you're gonna still take these cotton middles and we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna tie it in a knot on this, the back. Again, we're going to do a double knot, tight, really tight, hold it in place, do a double knot, okay, and then I'm going to go around to the other side, kind of cross over, pull it tight, and do another knot again on this side so you're trying to just tie it as tight as you can really give it a pull hold it in place tie another knot there we go now we're finished with these cotton bits now, so I'm going to trim them off quite close. Now again, a little bit of magic glue around the knots that you've done, maybe a bit on the back. Right, next, you need your tail. So, get your yarn and we're going to cut a length of this for your tail. And you're going to just go and wrap it around the middle and tie it in a knot so it's equal length for either side. Just tie it in a knot. You go, and that's going to make your tail, which you can then attach to anything you want. 
Right, next comes quite a fun bit. Is that you're now going to take your scissors and you're going to cut through all these loops. So do it carefully, try and get it in the middle. You do it a little bit at a time, you don't have to cut through lots at once. Make sure you've got all of them. I'm doing it one side at a time. Okay. Then do the other side. Sure you've got all the loops, that's right. There. Now you've got a funky, you can see it's starting to, sh to shape up your pom-pom now. Right, the next step is, obviously you've got quite a strong middle, which is making the beyond part to one side. So again, we're going to get my trusty glue gun, which is my best friend at the moment, I love it. And you're going to go round putting blobs of glue and then giving it a good squeeze in the middle. Round again and get the good squeeze. Make sure you try and keep your tails out the way, they don't get glued in. <laughs> so you're just going to keep going round, finding any kind of little gaps, giving it a good squeeze. Now, you might have got a solid middle, but you know, you're like, your pom poms are so fluffy. You're not going to notice if it's got lots of glue in the middle because it's really not going to show or be noticeable at all. Should give it a good squeeze, make sure it's sticking together. And then just keep keep going round, keep checking. For any little gaps that you don't like. There we go. Now the next bit, the final step is my favourite bit. I love this bit. Is you get to trim, trim the haircut, trim your pom pom to make it how you want it, how it's perfect. So we can give it just a little bit of a haircut or you can give it, you know, quite a big haircut and make it a smaller, tighter pom-pom. So first step, I mean, just literally start. There's gonna be some obviously long bits like where we started and where we finished. Literally, and I keep kind of cutting and then turning and fluffing it out so you see which bits are longer than others. And I just aim for giving it a fully kind of rounded shape, getting it as round as possible. But then it depends what you look you want. You might want a really shaggy, fluffy look like that. You could leave it like that perfectly happy and funky shaggy which is nice or you might want to keep going and make it a bit neater and tidier this is quite a loose one I could have put more yarn around if I wanted to to make it fuller so again it's a case of deciding or actually I'll make it again but put more yarn around so it might be a good idea to take note to write down in the notebook how many times you've Put, you know how many times round you've wrapped your yarn so then in future you know to do more or less than that I love a good notebook I have loads of them which I probably need to look back at and read them again and see what ideas I wrote down if I 
I could spend hours doing this. I love this job. So satisfying, just trim, trim. And see it taking shape. And it's so tactile as well. It's so soft and lovely to feel. See, when I saw my kids were, when my kids saw that I was making these, they were like, oh, they just want to touch them and stroke them and have them to play with. Huh? So uses for these pom-poms, um, we can put them on sleepy hats on the tops. We can put them on um, the corners of blankets. We can make loads of them and make a wall hanging or a sort of backdrop. You can you could make really tiny little ones and put them on tie backs as a fun decoration. You can make them into key rings. I'm sure if your kids saw you making one, they'd be like, oh, I want a key ring for my bag. I'm sure mine to help me do. But they're a fun thing for your kids to make as well. You know, do make them with your kids and they'll they'll love it. Make loads of them and then stream them all together and make a big wall hanging for the bedrooms. It'll look amazing. So look out for, I were doing other tutorials on how, like how we attach it to a sleepy hat. That is definitely a video I'm doing. So uh, search for those and I will link them below once I have completed them. So if you're on watching this on replay, they may well be a list of links below for you to um, follow up with. There's also, these are plain coloured pom-poms. We can do multicoloured pom-poms and different material pom-poms and stripey pom-poms, spotty pom-poms. So I'll be showing you also how to make those. Some of these uh, tutorials will be in the Craft Your Creativity um, membership in the uh, HQ. Um, but, you know, a lot of them will be uh, freely available as well. So there we go. As you can see, I could just keep going and going because I love this bit. But I'm going to stop there to show you. And yeah, that is it. One beautiful pom pom that look if try the test, pull and it doesn't come out. It's fixed, and I can't feel that there's a, a particular lump in the middle. It's still gorgeously soft and squishy. And if you you know if you go through and you see any kind of gaps or there's a tiny bit of glue there that escaped. You can pull that out. There we go. Any gaps, just put a tiny blob of glue in it. Give it a good squeeze. And it's all fixed together. So there we go. Find some yarn and have a go at making a perfect pom-pom. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.